Welcome to the weekly recap of the Cash Game World Championship. What a week it's been, huge swings, crazy pots, and non-stop action. The series is truly living up to its title, but the final leaderboard stats only tell half the story. There have been epic comebacks, dramatic downswings, and intense battles for the top spot. In first place is Peter Knopp. Peter's journey this week has been nothing short of remarkable. Starting in the middle of the pack, he steadily climbed the leaderboard, taking the top spot with $101,500 by day seven. Quickly interrupting the program for a giveaway break, guess who's dropping to fourth place by Saturday at 1 p.m. GMT and win $250 in coin poker credit? Leave your guess in the comments by Wednesday, 1 p.m. Now back to the action. While Patternop holds the lead, Absolute Top Up has been a constant challenge. Just $1,450 separates him from the top spot, making him a serious contender to take over at any moment. Absolute top up is less than 2% behind the leader. It's truly anyone's game right now. In third place right now is Munistar. He has climbed quietly, flying under the radar for much of the week. He has steadily gained ground, breaking into third place by day seven with $87,000. His patient and consistent approach has paid off, making him a potential potential dark horse in the championship. Moonastar climbed past Linus Love and, and Prodigy to secure their spot in the top three. In fourth is Linus, who started the week as a dominant force, but after playing an incredible 13,397 hands, he finds himself in fourth place with $86,000. It's a stark reminder of how volatile the Cash Game World Championship can be. Here are four key hands that took place in the Cash Game World Championship Day 6. Our first hand is from Absolute Top Up in the big blind with King 10 offsuit. Blinds are 50, 100, and we see that the cutoff opens to $200. Folds around to Absolute Top Up, who decides to take the aggressive route and three bets to 1100. The cutoff calls, and we see a good flop for Absolute Top Up. He flops second pair with a gut shot to a straight. He continuation bets to 563, and now we have a raise from the cutoff. Absolute does call, and the turn brings in a backdoor hard draw he checks and now the cutoff bets three thousand three hundred and seventy six dollars he does make the call and the river's a complete break the deuce of spades he does check to the cutoff and now the cutoff goes all in for their remaining stack absolute top of does make the call with second pair king kicker and he is shown ace king of diamonds for a bluff Miss Broadway from Matt there. Absolute top up with the hero call. He's playing aggressive, reading his opponent like a book. He is second in the leaderboard of this world championship going into day seven. Our second hand, I would consider our dark horse player, Mun Easy. He's on the button with a pretty hand, queen jack of clubs. The cutoff opens to 2x. He does elect to three bet in position and he does get the call for heads up. He flops top two and it checks to him. He continuation bets for $480. Prodigy does make the call and we see an interesting turn. It's the king of hearts bringing in a potential Broadway or straight, even a backdoor heart draw. It's going to go check, check now. I like this check in position and the river is an eight of diamonds. And now we have an interesting bet from Prodigy, an over bet shove, putting Mun Easy all in. And after he thinks about it, he says, my hand is too good to fold here. I'm going to call. And we see his opponent has ace three of spades for the missed spades draw and he is representing the ace 10 with the ace blocker what a call from mun easy and also what a play from prodigy well played by both players i would say keep an eye out for mun easy as he's climbed to top three on the leaderboard with eighty six thousand in his stack our third hand is from linus love who's had a roller coaster week he has pocket sixes in the cutoff he opens to 2x the small blind then three bets to 12 hundred dollars falls to him and he does make the call and we're gonna see a flop heads up flop is seven deuce deuce to diamonds the small blind continuation bets to 1600 he does make the call with his pair of sixes the turn is the queen of diamonds bringing in the flush and it's actually gonna go check check now and the river is the ten of clubs now the small blind puts a small bet of 1700 dollars and then linus decides to raise and puts him all in with his pocket sixes but unfortunately for him the small blind is gonna make the call and show pocket 
block of kings here. I like the idea. He's trying to get better to fold as that's the only way he can win this hand. And maybe the small blind goes for thin value there with a hand that's worse than pocket kings. But anyway, Linus sits in fourth place with $86,366. And last, but certainly not least, we have a hand from a player who went from the middle of the pack to now on top of the leaderboard with 101,000. He has pocket sixes in the big blind, and we see that the cutoff opens to 2x, folds to Peter, and he does make the call, and we go heads up. The flop comes queen six deuce, and he flops a set. He checks to the cutoff, who continues for $122. Peter then check raises to 573, and then we see a three bet from the cutoff to $1,800. Peter thinks about it and does make the call, and the turn's a 10 of spades. Peter now checks, and the cutoff continues to bear for four thousand one hundred and seventy dollars peter does make the call and the river's another 10 giving peter a full house he does find the check and chris does bet nine thousand three hundred twenty five dollars into twelve thousand then peter finds the all in as a check raise and chris does make the call and we see that chris has pocket kings what a hand from peter i think he played that perfectly and got max value keep in mind for the cash game world championship the leaderboard is calculated in EV dollars, but the actual biggest money winner this week was Prodigy, who won $133,000 and secured one of five seats in the VIP game, which will be live streamed Sunday, 5 p.m. GMT. Joining him there will be Jossum Gale, the dollar biggest loser with a negative $157,000 downswing, and Linus Love with the most hands played this week. But there are still two seats available and you can help decide who gets them the categories for fan voting are best bluff and best hero call so if you want to see the coolest bluff and hero calls this week head over to coin poker's twitter right now and place your vote next week the goalposts are shifting slightly and new categories will determine which of these sick players make it into the weekend vip game those categories are the biggest loser the most under ev player whoever lost the largest pot of the week and two more fan votes for best hero fold and the coolest play. Make sure to tune in for the action and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up with the madness. Who do you think will take it down? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you at the tables.